everybody, hello or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ruth and I hope you guys are having an amazing day, an amazing week so far. So today is the day that we are finally going to be doing the Libra season makeup. Yes, like I'm so excited for this one. I was like, mm. there's a couple of like ideas I was aiming for, but I was like, you know what? I want to do more of like a very cute, simple, not very complex. This is the one I was thinking of and was gonna be like a lot more difficult. But I want to do like the more easier one and this one's like way more calmer than the other extreme one I wanted to be doing. This one can be for like work, school, events and stuff like that. So yeah, let's get to it. Eyebrows on my eye base on and we have some tape because I want to do like a sharp edge look with this. So the palette we will be using today is going to be the Pink Religion just because um, the birthstone is opal. But I don't really just want to do like a look just on opal. So also the colors for them are pink and blue. And since I have done quite a bit of blue, I want to add in some pink in there. So we are going to open her up. And I think the base we are going to use is going to be the Lollipop Luxury. Which is right there. So we are going to go ahead and grab like a fluffy brush, Let's see if it wants to focus. So we are going to dip into Lollipop Luxury and start creating kind of like a halo. and fade it out a little bit. Make sure it's all smooth. Go to the next step. So get it fade out on top. Okay. So we're going to leave that brush aside and for the next one we are going to dip in with a, another brush. Out. Ah, why does this show like it doesn't want to focus? Okay, there we go. So the brush and we are going to dip into because we want to get that darkness on there. We are going to get do the handbag queen which is she is right there. That is the color we're going to use, and we're going to dip into that color, which is such a beautiful color. Um, we are going to start up here and then bring it down. So let's just go ahead and start blending it into the Lollipop Luxury. and got some windows and then bring it down maybe fix a little bit on the edge the lollipop kind of grab a little bit of a smaller brush Kind of like this one. Let's see if it wants to focus. So just like a small medium brush and we're going to dip into the lollipop again. Just so we can get a little bit more better in there versus the fluffy brush we had for it. Okay, 
So we're gonna do the handbag queen on the other side. Grab that brush again to fix the lollipop. All right, so that's what we have so far. So we are gonna go ahead and grab kind of like a medium sized brush again, something about this size. And I'm gonna dip into Beauty Killer and Diva, which I'll show, Ooh, I just dropped my mirror, which um, Beauty Killer's right there. And then Diva, I'm gonna mix, um, shades just because they kind of do look similar but not like a whole whole lot and we're gonna start blending it out right here and just add in some different color just a little bit and not like a whole whole lot because from the middle and beginning of the bottom lid, I'm going to do something way different. Okay. Maybe brighten up a little bit more. Okay. So we are going to take kind of like a small brush. Um, but which one do I want? We'll just go ahead with this one, just a small brush. And we are going to grab our eyeshadow base. And we are going to add it to the lid right here. Bring it up. Because right in because right in here, this is where we're gonna do our opal effect. And also on the upper brow, but we're gonna do the lid first. little bit more even okay so I'm gonna put aside the palette and you can use any highlighter but for the opal effect I want to use my sacred glass with the pink religion so in the beginning corner we are gonna go in with pearly gates which is right here and then we're gonna go into the middle part with pink purity which is the pink shimmer and um, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like an opal stone or gem, whatever you guys want to call them. Some people call them stones, some call them gems. And opal is more than just like one color. So that's why I kind of want to choose more of a highlighter than an eyeshadow because in highlights you do get like a glimpse of like different like shades, especially with the sunlight hitting and reflecting on it. So 
we are gonna grab a small little brush like that and give the eyelids a little and we are gonna dip into pearly gates make sure i get it down and we are gonna start laying it down like in the center right here And she is definitely, like, when we're all done and set with this, like, she's going to be blinding. So I'll lay that down on the other side. I will say the highlight feels and looks a little bit different than I would like on my face, but it's okay. And then with another small brush, we are gonna grab, let's figure out which one I wanna do. And then we are gonna dip into the Pink Purity, which I'm gonna be using. Like I said, you can use any highlighter. Um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just using this because it's they're both in the same one and I just wanted to use it since I am using the Pink Religion palette. So we are going to lay it on. Kind of mix those two together. I think I went a little bit too crazy with the um, pearl gate. So I'm going to apply a little bit more of that to my lid so we can get the pink purity on there. Maybe try a different brush. There we go. Okay, yep, there we go. A different one kind of helped pick up the product. So I'm gonna go ahead and darken this area a little bit more and I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> So I got my foundation on, I did my hair, put my lashes on, put some lips on, just a lip liner with some lip gloss, and here's the final look. I think it's very cute, very, I mean, could have been a nude lip, but I wanted to be, I just wanted to do it bold. So yeah, I hope you guys really enjoy this look, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.